black-footed ferret. Black-footed ferrets are not Americans, only native ferret species. They once ranged across the western plains but were thought to be extinct until a small population was discovered in 1981 thanks to the breeding and reintroduction programs including the work of Smithsonian Conservation Biology Institute black-footed ferrets have made an incredible recovery now i will tell you some fun facts about them fact number 1 Black-footed ferrets are very playful, especially as juveniles, young at play will wrestle, uh, arch their backs, and hop backward with their mouths wide open in a display known as the ferret dance. One fact number two: once the thought extinct. An isolated population of black-footed ferrets was discovered. Eighteen wild animals were caught to establish a breeding colony, from which all wild black-footed ferrets are now descended. Fact number three: Black-footed ferrets are North America's only native ferret species. Physical description. Black-footed ferrets' color and markings blend well with grasslands, soils, and plants, making them well adapted to their prairie environment. They are slender, wiry animals with a black face mask, black feet, and a black tip tail. The rest of the body is short and sleek, with fur that is a yellow buff color, lighter on the belly, and nearly white on the forehead muzzle and throat their legs are short with large front paws and curls developed for digging black-footed ferrets large ears and i suggest they that they have acute hearing and sight but smell is probably their most important sense for hunting prey underground in the dark size size they are about the size of a mink 18 to 24 inches t- long including a 5 to 6 inch tail. They weigh 1.5 to 2.5 pounds, with males being slightly larger than females. Now I will tell you about their native habitat. Black-footed parrots once ranged throughout the North American Great Plains where Wherever prairie dog colonies thrived from southern Canada to northern Mexico, today they have been reintroduced into parts of their former range in Wyoming, South Dakota, Montana, and Arizona. Now we will know about their communication. Black-footed ferrets are very low vocal. A loud chatter is used as an alarm call. A hiss is used to show agitation or fear. And females use whimpering sounds to encourage the young to follow. Male ferrets often chortle to females during breeding. Food or eating habitats. Food or eating habits. Ferrets have a high metabolic rate and require large quantities of food in proportion to their body size. Food recommends vary with the seasons and among individuals ferrets, but they generally consume one prairie or dog every three or four days. In the world, 19% of black-footed ferrets diet is prairie dogs. One ferret may eat over 100 prairie dogs in a year. And scientists calculate that one ferret family needs more than 250 prairie dogs each year. Then the remainder of the, their diets include mice, rats, ground squirrels, rabbits, birds, and occasionally reptiles and insects. The Smithsonian's National Zoo's black-footed ferret is a fed a commercial carnivore meat mix, mice, and rats. Now we will know about their social structure. Black-footed ferrets lead solitary lives, except during the breeding season or when females are caring for young. And now we will know about their reproduction and development. Breeding activity generally occurs in March and April. April after a gestation period of 41 to 43 days. A litter of kids is born. The average litter size is three to four young, but single kids as well as litters of nine or ten have been recorded. Only the female cares for the young. The kids are born blind and helpless, weighing only 
0.2 to 0.3 ounces at birth with thin white hair covering their bodies their dark markings appear at about 3 weeks of age and young kids be- begin to open their eyes about 35 days after birth black footed parrot kids develop very rapidly and become increasing active after their eyes open kids are about 3 quarters grown by july when they first venture about above ground long after they stop nursing they depend on their mother for meals of meats by late summer the female leaves her kids in separate burrows during the day and gathers them together at night to hunt eventually the young begin to hunt alone and by september are usually independent and solitary parents become sexually mature at one year of independent Oops. One year of age and their peak reproductive period is at about three to four years.